some minutes for um, saying your prayer first. Okay. Before we begin the seminar, let's start and pray together. Amen. Okay. Now, on behalf of the team, I'd like to declare that our seminar, uh, proposal seminar this afternoon, is officially started. Uh, as usual, we have two seasons in this um, seminar. The first one, time for Alex to present yeah, the proposal. Uh, important points that you will do in your research and also the and then the second season time for the reviewer Ibu Ristati to give you some comments and also uh, some question related to your proposal now let us start with the first season Alex I'll give you the time to present your uh, proposal for us Time is yours. Sure. Okay. So the title of my proposal is The Use of Slangs as Part of Communication in Hobbes and Shaw the Movie. Chapter 1, Introduction. Research Background. Language is a communication tool used by everyone in their daily life as means to convey information, meaning, and arguments to others. In this case, the language cannot be separated from culture because language represents each nation and has close relation to the attitude or behavior of groups of speakers of the language. Next. Slang is important to discuss because it has its ups and downs in terms of popularity. People tend to make slang and popularize it. In that case, the pioneer of the word of slang is the society itself. The meaning of society here is cross-gender and cross-age, which is not limited by age. Anyone can create slang as long as it is acceptable or popular. If it's not popular, can be accepted or understood, then the slang doesn't exist. The next one is movie. Movie is an audiovisual tool created by people whose purpose is to give information or entertain people. Many people like to watch movie because it can entertain them. So move can easily influence people. It seems many people copy the culture or language from the movie that they like or they watch. Anyone can effectively find the slangs which express by the characters in the movie to expand our new vocabulary. Other than that, it has the option to know how the slang words are used and reasons of utilizing the slangs. According to the explanation above, it becomes the background of the writer to choose a title, the use of slangs as part of communication in Hobbes and Shaw the movie. Research focus is to find slangs used in Hobbes and Shaw the movie and to find and explain contextual meanings of the slangs used. The research problems, what slangs are found in Hobbes and Shaw the movie and what are the contextual meanings of the slangs used in Hobbes and Shaw the movie. Research objectives, to find slangs used in Hobbes and Shaw the movie and to find out the contextual meaning of the slangs used by characters in Hobbes and Shaw the movie. Research significance. Theoretically, giving more information about authentic materials for further researchers to conduct further research with the similar problem of analyzing slangs found and its contextual meanings, especially in a movie. And the practically one, for the lectures, this research is expected to be important materials for the lectures to teach more about slangs, especially in movies. And for the students, this research is expected to help the students in understanding deeper about slang, especially in movies. Chapter 2, Literature Review. Slang. Slang describes words or phrases that are used instead of everyday terms among younger speakers and other groups with special interests. 
you 2006. Slang is commonly used by teenagers. It is used verbally and in writing, such as in social media and online messaging. Slang is not used merely as a means of self-expression. It connotes personality, it coinates and circulation come rather from the wish of the individual to distinguish himself by oddity. Partridge, page four. Why people use or create slang? Slang is used by all kinds of groups of people who share situations or interests. The group which uses these words is always in the minority and often use slang to set themselves apart or make it difficult for ordinary people to understand them. When a particular new expression is known and used by a large majority of the population, it is no longer slang, but part of the regular language or usage. Note, slang and informal English are not the same. Some slang can be used in formal situations, and some of the words that can only be used in informal situations are not slang. The function of slang in a group or community. According to Zhou and Fan, 2013, when people talk about the social function of slang, then the most important point will be focused in that language as a communication between people. However, there are three of the interpersonal function of slang, which are pursuit of self-identity, emotive feeling of the slang users, and achieving politeness. Sociolinguistic. Sociolinguistics, according to Warthouse 2010, sociolinguistic is concerned with investigating the relationship between language and society, with the goal being a better understanding of the structure of language and of how language functions in communication. The equivalent goal in the sociology of language is trying to discover how social structure can be understood through the study of the language. The rest can be read on the hard copy. Next, sociolinguistic as branch of linguistics. Sociolinguistics is the study of the connection between language and society and the way people use language in different social situations. The basic premise of sociolinguistics is that language is variable and ever-changing. As a result, language is not uniform or constant. Rather, it is varied and inconsistent for both the individual user and within and among groups of speakers who use the same language. People adjust the way they talk to their social situation. Slang in social linguistics. People in a society may speak some varieties of language in accordance with different social situations they meet. When they speak, they should understand well about the situation around. Slang changes its identity along with who the participants are. Factors such as one's educational, economic, or social function, social position, and even in relation to the location and generation, take great measure affecting what slang is to one person, but to another is different. Next, the relationship between language and society. There is a variety of possible relationship between language and society. One is that social structure may be either influenced or determine linguistic structure and or behavior. Second possible relationship is directly opposed to the first linguistic structure and or behavior may either influence or determine social structure. A third possible relationship is that the influence is bidirectional. Language and society may influence each other. A variant of this approach is that this influence dialectical in nature. A Martian view put forward by Dietmar in 1976 argues, page 228, that speech behavior and social behavior are in state of constant interaction and that material living conditions are an important factor in the relationship. Contextual meaning. Contextual meaning is the meaning of a lexeme or a word that depends on the context. Pateda, 2010, states that contextual meaning or situational meaning appear as a result of the relationship between speech and context, page 116. Meaning of a word or sentences consider the relationship between speech and context. However, context has several forms. The first form is person context. This includes something related to gender, position, age, social background of both speaker and listener. Context of language means whether the language used is in accordance with the rules. Context of object means 
what has become the object of conversation. Context of mood includes the mood of the participants of conversation. And context of place is the setting of place in which the conversation occurs. Definition of movie. According to Hornby, 2006, page 950, movie means a series of moving picture recorded with sound that tells a story, Sionet cinema movie. 20 movie or film is a term that encompasses individual motion pictures. The field of movie as an art of form. And the motion pictures industry. Movies are produced by recording images from the world with cameras or by creating images using animation techniques or special effects. Hobbs and Shaw the movie. Fast and Furious presents Hobbs and Shaw, also known simply as Hobbs and Shaw, the 2019 American body action comedy film directed by David Leach and written by Chris Morgan and Drew Pierce. From a story by Morgan, it is a spin-off of the Fast and Furious franchise set after the events of 2017's The Fate of the Furious. Next is the framework. The data used is the talks or utterances among characters in the movie, and then identifying the slangs by watching the movie and reading the script. After identifying, then classifying the slangs found into its types, which is words, phrases, and sentence. Then analyzing the contextual meaning of the slangs to draw the conclusion. Chapter three, research method. Kind of research and approach. This research use descriptive qualitative research to analyze the slangs and its contextual meanings found in Hobbes and Shell movie. In this research, the researcher uses the design of descriptive method, which is a method of research that attempts to describe and interpret the object. The descriptive method is implemented because the data analysis presented descriptively. This study attempts to provide the answers of research problems by analyzing slangs that are found and its contextual meaning in Hobbes and movie. The descriptive qualitative approach is considered appropriate for this research. Data and source of the data. The source of data of this study is taken from Hobbes and Shaw movie, which was released on 31 July 2019. Data of this study will be taken from the movie above. There are 50 slangs in the movie which are going to be analyzed. Next, research instrument. The research instrument for this research will have the researcher in himself because the researcher is the key instrument in this research who will collect, observe, and analyze the data. All slangs in the script, which has three types of slang, namely sentence, phrase, and word, will also be applied as the instrument of research. The other instrument is the theory of meaning of Pateda to help the researcher to interpret the contextual meaning of slangs. Technique of data collection. First one is watching the movie several times to comprehend the slang use and the meaning of it in the movie. The next one is listening, reading, and observing the utterances from the characters of Hobbes and Shaw movie. Next, identifying the slangs used in the movie and its contextual meaning. Coding the sentences, phrases, or words related to slang. And tabulating, putting the data on the table. The technique of data analysis. Identifying the slangs found, classifying the slang to word, phrase, and sentence. Analyzing the contextual meaning of the slangs, drawing conclusion and making a conclusion based on the data collected in a complete description based on Pateda's theory. The trustworthiness of data. Quality criteria in qualitative research based on Lincoln and Gupa, as cited in Course Chance and Moser 2017, which is credibility, transferability, dependability, and confirmability. That's it for my proposal and thank you. Okay, thank you, Alex. Um, okay, now you can um, off your screen, um, share screen. Yes. Okay, now, um, thank you for your presentation.
and then we go to the next season. I would like to invite Ibu Ristati as the reviewer um, to give some comment and also some question related to the proposal. Now, Ibu Ristati, time is yours. Okay, thank you, Ibu Natalina Asi. Good afternoon, everybody. Okay, Alex, uh, before starting with questions and suggestions, I would like to say congratulations for you because you have reached uh, the stage, yeah, Se uh, seminar proposals. Okay, um, based on the title of your study, yeah, your research will be classified into a qualitative, yeah, descriptive research. Uh, you will to analyze uh, the use of slangs as the part of communications in hubs and hubs and show the movie. Okay, I have read your proposals and the background of your study is complete. I just give you a uh, Suggestions, yeah, yeah. In uh, research focused, yeah, research focused because on chapter two, yeah, you explain the functions of slangs, yeah, and then I would like you to add your research problems. Yeah, I agree with the two problems. The first, you want to find out uh, the kind of slangs. And then the second problems, you want to find out the contextual meanings. And the third, I would like you add yeah, the, uh, the problems. That is um, to find out the functions of slangs, language based on the movie, based on your movie. Yeah. You can uh, <clears throat> find the answers yeah, based on your theory on chapter two. Okay, Alex, can you yes, get my idea? Yes, ma'am. Okay, yeah. Next, research objectives, of course, must be in line with the research problems. You add, yeah, research objectives, number three, yeah, to find out the functions, to find out the functions. Next, research significances. Yeah. This is the most important for the research, yeah. Significance itu paling penting dalam penelitian. And then you uh, define <coughs> to be two theoretically and practically. Yeah. And then next, you will write the suggestions in your research here. Yeah. Suggestions must be in line with the significance. And please you add the significance yeah, to, to develop the theory of sociolinguistics. Yeah. Because your study use uh, the grand theory that is some um, sociolinguistics. Okay, give more information, okay. theoretically, yeah, give more information about authentic material for federal researchers to conduct federal research with the similar problems of analyzing slangs found in its contextual meanings, especially in a movie. This is too specific. And then you should add yeah, your significant theoretically, that is uh, to develop the theory of sociolinguistics. Okay, yes. next, practically. Practically, of course, uh, this is uh, used for uh, teaching learning process in our uh, study programs. That is um, uh, in um, the subjects uh, sociolinguistics. Yeah, please you add that to the practically for uh, lecturers yeah. to increase the teaching learning process, especially for the subjects that is uh, sociolinguistics. And of course, Next, you write the suggest suggestions must be in line with your significance. Next, for the students, you just wrote, the research is expected to help the student in understanding deeper about slangs. Why deeper? Yeah, you should add this information. Why deeper? What is the functions of slangs for the students? Based on the background of your study, that is uh, to get the positive commitment, that is to increase the students' uh, new vocabulary. That is based on yours, in your background. Yeah, you wrote that. And then you have to write down here, why, why the students uh, learn slangs? As we know that slangs can be found in uh, informal situations. Yeah, 
in a class, yeah, that is formal conditions. Yeah, you you have to explain that. Okay, next. Uh, chapter two, okay, complete theory. But uh, previous researchers, previous research, previous research, previous research, not only describing the similarities and the differences, but the most important things is the contributions, the contributions of the previous research for yours. Okay. Mm -hmm. Next framework, yeah, frameworks. You should add that, um, yeah, in your uh, tables. Analyzing the contextual meaning of the slangs, and then the next tables is to find out the functions. Yeah, the functions of the slangs communications. Of course, this is uh, oral communications because you will uh, you will analyze. Uh, the movie, yeah, this is an oral, not not written, yeah. And then you add, you add uh, the next tables to find out, yeah, the functions. Okay. Research methods, yeah, kinds of research and approach. I agree with your idea that this is is classified into descriptive, qualitative. Why? Because you just analyze the language itself, the language as the tool of communications, especially for oral communications. And then you should add that to analyze the slangs and its contextual meanings, and then the functions. Yeah, the functions. Next. Table 3.1, the analysis of the slangs. You should add one, one row, yeah, as the descriptions of functions based on yours, not in general, but specified. Next, technique of data analysis. Yeah, there are the procedures. You just wrote the procedures. You didn't mention what is the name of your uh, technique of data analysis. Yeah, of course, because you analyze um, the language itself. And then this is a library research. Yeah you should use content analysis, yeah, content analysis. And then it's okay, the procedure, identifying your slang, classifying is okay, but you should write the name of your data analysis, that is some um, content analysis. Okay, yeah. Trustworthiness, I agree with your idea, it's complete. Yeah, credibility, transferability, it means that uh, the results of your research can be as the reference for the next researchers. Yes. Okay, next. Next, the last is the references. As we know that uh, the oldest uh, reference is uh, 2011, 2011 itu yang paling tua. And then I give uh, times here, ya. Saya sudah kasih tanda referensi yang boleh digunakan yang dan yang tidak boleh digunakan. Nah ini, anda bisa mencari alternatif yang lain, ya, atau mencari the new editions. Oke okay, ya. Jadi yang paling tua itu adalah 2011. Oke, okay, thank you Bu Natalina Asi, time is yours. Oke. Okay. Thank you Ibu Ristati. And I also give the time for Ibu Merlin Simbolan as the second advisor to give you comment on your proposal. Time is yours Ibu Merlin. Thank you, Bu Natalina and Bu Ristati for the time have you given for me. Alex, yes, please you check again. Alex, hari itu nota not 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 dari ibu setelah dari ibu Adit itu sudah diberikan di kamu untuk referensis. Ya, yeah. sudah sudah banyak sekali yang kamu revisi. Nanti dicek kembali. Yes, Dicek kembali dari mana itu diambil nanti ya. 
Nah, terus kemudian lagi masih ada lagi beberapa di sini dari yang eh, revisi sebelumnya itu harus konsisten dengan penulisan itu. Penulisan harus konsisten. Ya mungkin itu itu aja yang bisa di, diberikan. Karena dari proposal awal itu sudah banyak diperbaiki. Sudah banyak kami perbaiki dengan eh, Alex. Ya, dan saya kira Alex pasti paham apa yang di, diungkapkan oleh the reviewer tadi. Ya berkali itu saja masukan untuk Alex, Bu Natalina. Oke, okay. okay. thank you Ibu Merlin, Alex. Um, once again, I remind you uh, to do all the things yeah, that you need to revise for your proposal and If you still don't understand, please come and ask. Yes, yeah. Okay. Now, um, do you have any question before we finish, Alex? Is there something that you still um need to make sure before you do your own revision? Mm -hmm. No, no. Okay. No, that's mean you um ready. I think um you need to concentrate, yeah, focus yourself to do some revision, real um all the things that um Ibu Ristati has already commented on your um proposal, you should um care. Yeah, and do the revision. I think it's there is nothing big work. Yeah, only uh, some work. If you can do one or two nights, two days. Yeah, one or two days. I think you can come and to go to see Ibu Ristati as the reviewer. Yeah to check all the things that um, she has already uh, commented on your proposal. Okay, now, I think that's all. If we don't have any question or any comment anymore, I think our seminar is um, finished. Buristati, thank you very much for your comment or your note. And also Ibu Merlin Simbolon, thank you. Thank you for all students who join in this Zoom meeting. Once again, um, hope Alex can finish as fast as can, yeah, as he can. And yeah, I think time to say goodbye. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, okay, everybody. Thank you, thank you, everybody. Thank you, yeah. Lanjut, hmm. lanjut. Lanjut. Amarbo. Buris tati. Lek, keluar dulu kau, Lek. Gimana menyuruh orang keluar? Halo. Gimana? Keluar. Kenapa? Keluar kan bisa dia keluar. Apa? Lek, kan berjauh, Jar. <laughs> eh, live on YouTube-nya dimatiin dulu. Live on YouTube-nya dimatikan dulu karena kita susus. Mem, saya ganti aja di host. Yang jadi host yang keluar, Lian, Alex. Live-nya on YouTube-nya di ini kan dulu, nggak bisa kah? Susus. Nah, udah. Eh, YouTube-nya, YouTube-nya tuh, live-nya tuh. Sudah live, tuh. Di kan live dulu. Masih live di ini. Ini kan kalau, kan kalau ng ngerumpi. Gujuran ditonton orang se-Indonesia mati itu jam. Sekarang kan gara-gara eh gara-gara Covid kan ngerumpinya gini sekarang sudah online orang. Sudah keluar dia. Ini pakai dari matinya nah. Ngerumpi online. How? Dilihat jalan nenek-nenek ngerumpi online. Bu, itu live loh, Bu. Di YouTube. 
Enggak diinikannya. Nah udah kalau gitu nanti aja kita mau ngerumpi. Nah makanya nanti kan dibikin link zoom khusus untuk ngerumpi. Oke 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 ah bujur bujur. Ella kita udah hanya aja lah kalau gitu lah. Ya nggak bisa aja ya bu yo oke. Yo oke oke sudah mereka.